Good day and welcome, my name is Sondes and today we are playing Via the Awakening. We're continuing our path to the refugees. And we're going to be set up by rats apparently. No, we're not. This expedition, these goblins, these skeletons are getting awfully close. Maybe I can hold out another turn, I don't know. I don't know how far they actually walk. But they seem quite happy down there. I'm not so happy with them down there. But let's continue with our expedition. We're gonna clean up these rats. Just all to resolve. Uh, there's nothing. Cross the river through the woods in the open plains. And we're gonna see a bunch of creatures here. There are five crazed bees here. Four skeletons here. We're gonna see what these skeletons are gonna do. They're not gonna do anything. So, ooh, we've got a grown kid. Let's make him into a, another warrior. <laughs> you gain random here. Hooray. In our village. A pigeon flies to your village with a note attached to it. It reads, Dear residents of the lovely settlement, If you will, please visit my humble abode, placed not so far from your lovely home. It is very nice. I am a blacksmith of dwarven tradition, and I have an offering for, your, for you, kind people. Yes. There's a small map drawn in strange purple glowing ink. Oh, alright. Maybe worth visiting and worth checking out. Oh, that's really close actually, so we could easily go there. And we should take a big enough party though, so if some evil lurks there we can fend them off. Let's go into the wrong menu. Let's go into Bundling. Select Radomir. Let's see who he is. He has 12 armor on his own. Free defense. And he is a warrior. He has 10 damage of his own. So let's give him. So there is going to be an update now available on the beta branch of the game. And it's going to uh, tweak a little bit the uh, damage output of weapons and the amount of resources and stuff that you get from certain victories and the amount of research that you get from crafting stuff they're going to uh, uh, reduce that and they're going to as I said upgrade the damage to two handed weapons lower the damage from one handed axes and I have to find something to equip to Radomir so let's just give him the best of what we have available we have a free armor 6 defense shield free armor 7 defense shield Let's give him a free armor 7 defense shield. Let's give him a. We have a spike club. We have a Fawny Warhammer. We have a Berserker Snail. Let's give him a crossbow. Whatever. And we could give him a one handed sword. It's a very basic one handed sword. We could just give him a Fawny Warhammer. Let's do that. And the best armor, 7 armor, 1 dexterity, 9 armor, 9, 2 dexterity, 6 armor. Just give him one of those. And that's about it, I guess. Yeah. Let's see if we can maybe craft some custom medium armor. We have regained some now, not really. Gained some more stuff. I mean, this this was this one was pretty nice. Uh, this is pretty nice. Uh, Eleven armor, two dexterity. Could increase it to thirteen armor, two dexterity. It's pretty cool. It's also thirteen armor, two dexterity. Just thirteen armor. Fourteen armor, two dexterity, two magic. It's pretty cool. Is there anything more we could add to make it better? Maybe this will not help a single thing. So we're just gonna use some threads. Let's make a fur jacket for our hero. And let's put best craftsman on the job for now gonna be ready in five turns so for now let's have Redomir create his own expedition 
You cannot walk. He needs at least one wood. And he needs at least one stuff. He still cannot walk. Hmm. Well, in that case, we're just gonna leave him in here. Whatever. Let's go to our party, which can walk. We can attack these four skeletons. They're in the way. Whatever. Let's attack them. Can do a sneak attack. Let's do a sneak attack. Sure. And that's all the result of it. Let's see if we do it. Yeah, we've done it. Got a rib cage. Got some laminar armor and some monster bones. We're gonna be going over here. The refugees. And a cosmic tree. There's a guy there. Let's sort of do this one. The refugees. Let's see. Oh dear. You find a settlement taken by an orcish clan. You see many warriors. At least one matriarch and a shaman. They are well armed and look ready to fight. Ooh. Lucy. <laughs> Let's do a sneak attack. Sure. Let's reshuffle. Yes. Keep in play. Oh my. We might have taken on more than we can handle. We should have come back later. Oh dear. Oh my. Okay. We're gonna die now. I hope not. Can we confuse any of them? No. Can we take him? Like, this 14 damage. Can take 21, but he will do no damage back. Whatever. We'll put Karina on there. And we'll see what happens. Okay. So we could support our ally with one, which will be enough to kill the left one, but not the right one. So whatever, let's do it. Let's hope that she attacks the left one. Now we could do a counter tactic. Let's do that. Let's just counter one of those tactics. Of course, we've countered the worst one. So gonna be putting the wolf up for the slaughter I guess or oh, that's so not tank to hit yeah and then put the wolf in sure I'm playing one card gonna be that one we can start protecting the wolf and we can counter let's counter a tactic it's one of the field and let's protect our ally. Alright. Please, Karina, kill the one to your left, please. Yeah. Good girl. Hmm. One gone. Uh, do I want to reshuffle? No, let's keep. Player's turn. Wolf, go. Great, I go. Hmm. Yes. So that's six, seven, eight. We need three more. Can we do three more? No. Let's do a counter kick tactic. Okay. Confuse one of them. Joint well board up to take another hit. We could put Volibor up. We 
can support him if you want to. It's not gonna be a whole lot. Hmm. That's what we can do with this one, is shooting for you. So let's just do that. That's already set. Counter attack, counter defense will have no use. Confuse will have no use. Protect allies only two. First action will get in one hit. So that's eight, that's nine. It's ten. It's not enough to even kill the first one. We could get closer. That might be a good thing to do. So we're gonna support you. We're gonna get closer, so at least she will get a last hit in and kill something off the board. Mm -hmm. Here we go again, kill one sneak, that's great. I'm going for Bolabor, please don't go for Bolabor, that's too bad, can we never kill one? We have two cards left. All right, we might want to reshuffle since we have our lowest attacking value characters in the tactical pal, and you don't want that. That is one sneaky motherfucker. Just gonna counter that tactic. Then we are gonna confuse one. Gonna wait until it's the opponent's turn. I'm gonna confuse that one. We are gonna be. See, we need hit takers. So Zora is gonna take the hits. Then Greta is gonna take a hit. Then the Wolf is gonna take a hit. And then Karina will have to take the hit. So as I hopefully Karina will get two shots. She should. And it will be enough to kill both sneaks. It's a long long and hard battle. But we might just be able to make it. There we go. Reshuffle. Okay. Player's turn. Karina go. Put someone in front of you. That's not enough. So so I go get closer, get closer, whatever. Well, it is actually enough. Ooh, oh my, that's great. Whew. You sneak up to the camp and eliminate the key guards near the storage rooms. You're able to carry off much loot. So we're able to carry off granite, ancient wood, dark wood and more granite. Good, take the stuff and leave. Run! Alright, let's go back towards the cosmic tree. Let's not press that button, let's check on home. These guys just haven't moved this way yet. Doesn't seem they are they will be moving that way. So we can move with the towards the cosmic tree and check what's that all about. Investigate. Oh we don't have what we need yet. So you have what we need? No, not yet. I need to reserve my life force to make the compass. Please only return when you have the cosmic shards from the dragon. Be careful and good luck. Right, sorry, off we go. Where will we be able to get some charts? I don't know. Maybe there? Maybe. I really want to go there. All the way. Whatever, let's go there. If not, it's a stunt is moving away. Great. Let's move. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of us. More mountains. Go back home. 
how is the creating of that armor going? Three turns. You have a lot left. Not to resolve. Not too ter terribly worried with that. Hmm. Ooh. Check on home. I think it's alright. Ooh. What? Over the last few weeks, few weeks, you heard the tales of a dragon roaming in the skies. Travelers. Travelers tell tales of their daughters being taken by the monster, and you hear it roar loud and clear in the night. Two children have already fallen prey to the beast, oh no! But there are rumors of a man who said he can rid the land of the drake for the right price. If you wish to investigate, just follow the roar. We've lost two children. Ugh. Okay. 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 How he dare. Let's investigate this. Skeleton judge in a way, it's just auto resolve, whatever. Ooh. Malachite. Iron. Oh, we can carry tons more. So let's uh let's go and carry tons more. So let's search the city. Great stuff. Go to the cosmic tree. Let's visit the tree. You enter the ruins of an old city, steeped in a low-hanging mist and a strong smell of decay. Elven magic guides you towards an unassuming rubble of stones. But as you look closer, you see trapdoors leading underground. Go in. Wow. Okay. Okay. There's a long dark tunnel filled with cobwebs and dust. The air is dry and heavy. Finally, you come into an imposing underground chamber, and in the distance you see a one-eyed dragon! The beast seems almost like a statue, although you see faint signs of breathing. The beast seems almost like a statue, although you see faint signs of... Why, why is this? this is, okay, this is two times it's written there. Okay, On a pedestal behind the creature you see five silver pieces of tree bark. There! These must be the cosmic tree charts! Um, uh, um, um. Okay. Let's come back another time. I feel like I'm not quite ready for this. So let's go investigate this other dragon, which I'm not quite ready for. Ugh. <sighs> Well, you realize a group of attackers is approaching your village. Fast! To arms! The group of crazed scavengers attacks your village. They run around like crazy and try to grab whatever they can, while others attack your people. You can attack them, fight. Divide your people into two groups so that some might protect the goods and children, while others may fight. Your best warrior set up, arms drawn. We'll give you one chance to run now. Intimidate. Let's try to intimidate them. The scavengers stop in their tracks and look at you uneasy. Clearly the sight of an organized group is making them unsettli unsettled. Uh, there are a lot of social guys there. But we might, u might, might use this opportunity to attack them. There's a warrior in that group. Alright, let's... Uh, Try to intimidate them. Let's uh, reshuffle. There we go. That's what I want to see. Player turn. Faklov, go. Wogna, go. Kill whatever comes out there. Oh. Django, go. Level are they? Two, two. Huh. Counter tactic. Confuse. Oh. 
can do the next round. Now nah, wait. Get closer. Oh yeah. Gonna get up close and personal. With our talking. <laughs> Gonna oi 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 them under the table. There we go. Your people make lots of noise to make it seem like there is a lot more of you. Your best warriors tense their muscles and make themselves look scary, and your wise ones pretend to cause magic. It seems to work. This was too much for the scavengers. Not only do they leave, but some manage to drop their stuff on their way. <laughs> Got a crew bones on ladder and gained some social skill. Hooray! Let's get out of here. Let's go into here. And let's start creating heavy armors. Oh yeah. Ding ding ding. Do another turn. Let's go here. To the Vavel Dragon. Let's also see what kind of armors we can now make. So in crafting. Ooh. And first, before I forget, let's equip Radomir with the fur jacket. He's a real warrior now. Great, let's go into here. Craft heavy armors. We're going to be created a silver armor with monster bones and some wood. 19 armor, 2 dexterity, monster seeker armor. 16 armor, 19 armor. For you, spirit. 15 armor for attractiveness. Uh, it's monster seeker. Heavy armor. 16 armor. Gold. Full plate armor. So, say we make silver armor. 90 armor, 2 dexterity. Not gonna make shit. 16 armor to dexterity, so we will want to use rubies. Silver is great, gold is 19, uh, silver is just excellent. Having a silver weapon is good for some pieces, but having a silver armor adds an extra intimidating factor. Oh, yeah, we also want to use silver for so if we use iron instead, that, that does take a lot away. Shall we create silver armor? Just for the sake of it? Sure, why not? Let's uh, confirm making some silver armor. And uh, Jenko can ride on that. And... Farcraft 2. We're gonna be making the both of them. Great. Back to the expedition. On our expedition. You know what? I'm going to put a cut in here, actually, since we will be visiting the Faithful Dragon next time, so stay tuned for that. What's this question mark? So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!